either of you actually consider moving to Europe for science, given the current situation in the U.S.? Um, I think this should answer the question. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Eux, ce sont des étudiants d'Harvard. Et si tu te demandes pourquoi on leur pose cette question, voilà un petit récap. Entre mars et avril 2025, l'administration Trump a gelé des milliards de dollars de financement fédéral pour la recherche destinés aux plus prestigieuses universités américaines. Et Harvard a été l'université la plus impactée. Elle a perdu plus de 2 milliards de dollars d'aide. C'est là que l'UE est arrivée avec son programme Choose Europe for Science, ou Choisissez l'Europe pour la science. Soit 500 millions d'euros entre 2025 et 2027 pour attirer les scientifiques basés à l'étranger. De quoi envisager de traverser l'Atlantique pour la science On est allé poser la question aux étudiants de l'un des plus prestigieux campus des états unis No, not at all. No, I have not. By name, no, but I think I can sort of guess as to what it's about. Yes, so I, I read about it like briefly in the New York Times. And what do you think of this initiative? Uh, I think it's good in that I'm, I'm a mathematician. I like obviously like support funding going towards STEM. I think STEM is really important. I know so many people who have been like affected by like loss of NSF funding. So I think it's it's really bad that America is no longer funding science in the same way. And I hope that that will end and that we, the NSF starts giving more grants again. But I do think it's good that Europe is trying to fund science more. I think it's a really brilliant move on the part of the European Union. I think it's a tragedy that it is taking place because I think that this damage will reverberate across the decades. I don't think that this is something that can be repaired in a single presidency, but I can't fault the EU for capitalizing on this moment. I mean, sounds cool, good for uh, the Europeans, you know? Yeah, uh, hopefully it will make up for some of the lack of funding here. Yeah. Would either of you actually consider moving to Europe for science? given the current situation in the U.S.? Um, I think this should answer the question. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Fair enough. What about you? I think I would, not necessarily for science, because that's not what I'm studying, but I'd like to be in an environment where academic pursuits are more independent. Looking at PhDs, I would potentially consider that. If there was like a good opportunity for me in Europe and good funding for me to do the research I want to do, I would definitely consider going to Europe to do that.